Trevor Bauer is a brash, egotistical loudmouth. He's kind of becoming my favorite player now. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Know It All, coming to you today to talk about Trevor Bauer, of all things. Now, I really haven't talked a whole lot about him on the videos, although he's been pretty much front and center this offseason, social media-wise, because I've kind of, well, in the past, not liked him. I've kind of thought he was just, like I said earlier, a brash, egotistical loudmouth, but I'm kind of changing my opinion. But guys, before we jump into this, take a moment, subscribe to the channel. That way you know when new videos come out. We got a lot of stuff coming as the season's starting to roll out next week or two. Going to be a lot of fun. Interviews, just crazy stuff all over the place. And don't forget to like this video. It does help out so other people will catch and find this video. And we can talk baseball with more people. So guys, let's jump right back into this Trevor Bauer. For the last few years, I've seen him as just a hothead, a loudmouth, egotistical jerk who just wants to be in the spotlight. Now, those things still might be true. They might be true, and I, if someone said they are true, I wouldn't doubt them. But the more I, I read what he has to say, the more I listen to him, the more I'm realizing he's not as bad as people thought. In fact, I kind of am enjoying his commentary and his thoughts and his just his realistic view of the game of baseball. In fact, I would really say he's kind of the the fans player he's a professional baseball player he he's at the level but he's also kind of the voice of the fans in a lot of ways and i'm kind of respecting him for that and enjoying him for that uh he's talked a lot about you know the cheating scandal and he just recently talked about the uh the issues with the playoff format that's been proposed and yes he, he comes off as harsh and egotistical but if you really sit down and listen to him and you really dig into what he's saying, it's passion. It is truly passion for the game. And I'll admit, I'm the first one to say, he's becoming one of my favorite players. You know, I'm going to cheer for him. I'm going to root for him. That's something I wouldn't have said a couple years ago. I mean, even just last year, at the end of the year, I wouldn't have said that. But the more I see what he's doing and the way he's trying to open up dialogue, maybe not in the best manner, maybe not the best route is what he's taking, but he's still trying to open up dialogue. He's trying to spread positive information to help younger athletes and current athletes that he's playing with. Uh, in fact, he's talked about when he went to the Reds that that organization was all about learning, all about teaching, all about growing knowledge in the game. And that's what he really enjoyed and appreciated about that organization. So I, I get that. It, that's a cool thing. And, you know, Honestly, I've watched some of his videos, watched, listened to him do different things, and you can see that when you really focus on that mentality that he's just passionate and he wants to grow the game, maybe not taking the best route with what he has to say, but he has a lot of truth to what he's saying. And I wish he would, you know, maybe back off a little bit of on some of the harshness and, and ego drive that he has, but at the same time, he's a major league baseball player. There's going to be ego there. There's going to be some, you know, feeling of being better than others. But at the same time, he's also made a point lately to really emphasize that he's human. He feels sadness and frustration and depression. He feels those things. It's just that he does a certain job that not everybody can do. So, like I said, in the end, I'm actually really kind of enjoying him. I, I've never met him, so I can't say what he's like in person. Um, hopefully at some point I will get to, you know, I think it's, he actually comes up to the Northwest and, and does some stuff up here. So I'm hoping at some point to maybe catch him and just talk with him for a little bit, whether that happens or not, you know, I'm just a small little, uh, blogger with a even smaller YouTube channel. So I doubt that will happen. Although I've talked to some really cool guys at the major league level. It's just one of those things where I'm enjoying him right now. I'm actually sitting back and saying, cool. I want to, I want to know what he has to say. Now, do I think some of the stuff he says are is kind of out of line? Yeah, of course. But overall, with the new focus and mindset that I've taken, looking at what he's saying, like I said, he's one of my favorite players now. You know, whether he does good or bad, I'm going to still watch what his he's doing. I'm going to cheer for him. I'm going to root for him. I'm going to I'm going to be a fan of his because he really speaks for the fan in a lot of ways. He's that 
that Major League Baseball player who's not afraid to say, that's a stupid idea and we shouldn't do that. And the fans agree with it. You know, he's not, the, he's not afraid to go out there and say, these guys should be punished for what they're doing. That's what the fans feel. You know, really, a majority of fans, if they were to sit and listen to what he's saying, they would agree. They would agree with what he's saying. So Trevor Bauer is, I think, misunderstood. But at the same time, I like it. I like what he's saying. I like what he's doing. I wish him the best. He's playing for Cincinnati, which is my dad's favorite team of all time. So, you know, maybe he'll uh, be a part of that team winning the Central in the National League, which they're my pick for the for the NL Central. Uh, the Pakota predictions came out yesterday and have the Reds winning the Central as well. So we'll see. It's going to be a fun year. I'm excited to see what happens. And I'm going to actually follow him more and, and see what he's doing because – I think it's a chance to learn and see the mindset of a Major League Baseball player. So, you know, whether you guys agree with me, whether you like him or don't like him, the truth of the matter is he does know the game. He actually knows his stuff pretty well. And he is a good teacher, I think. So, you know, be what you may. Think of it one way or the other. Trevor Bauer, you got yourself a new fan. So, guys, I'm Josh. Now you know it all. Talk to you guys later.